Good morning, Lehigh Valley. Today, I'm going to put on my tour director hat because I want to take you through step by step for the 63,000 people so far who have requested a mail-in ballot. On Tuesday, we will be mailing out our mail-in ballots. Now, before I get into the mail-in ballots, starting today, if you did not request a mail-in ballot or an absentee ballot, but you would like to vote early, starting today, you can come into the government building at 7th and Hamilton. In the basement is our voter registration office. You can fill out an application. Then they will give you a ballot where you will go to a secure private area, vote, and then hand it back. So if you're not wanting to vote on November 3rd and you'd like to vote early, that's one option. Your second option is the mail-in ballot. Now if you apply for a mail-in ballot, this Tuesday we are going to be mailing out the ballots to you. So expect them depending on the mail route you're on, by Thursday or Friday. My advice to you is when you get them, if you are going to mail them back to us, do it as soon as possible. Because if you forget to do something that I'm about to tell you, we will still have time to correct you and get you on the right path. Now, what is the right path? Well, when that ballot comes to you, the first thing is you're going to fill in the dots, the circles of who you want to vote for. Please, rule one, fill them in dark. The machine will not read them if you don't. Second, you can't vote for two people for the same office. If that happens, your vote will be rejected. So, one vote, Fill it in, dark, check everything. But when you're done, you take that ballot. You get what is called the official election ballot envelope. You take that ballot, you put it in that envelope. Seal it. This is the secure, anonymous ballot. Now, though, what we need to do is to put this in the envelope that came with, and by the way, this is what your ballot envelope will look like when it comes to you. It will say official election mail, and it will have the postmark of the Lehigh County Election Bureau. Now, you've sealed this. You put your ballot in it. Then you take the next envelope that comes with it, which already has postmark paid, you take that, put it in there, or you get the right idea, put it in, seal it, then the two things you have to do is sign it and date it. Sign it and date it. Because we have to know that Phillips Armstrong on October 13th vote. Now, this will then be taken out of that and they will not know that this is Phillips Armstrong's ballot. But they have to know that Phillips Armstrong voted. Now, the only other thing is on election day, November 3rd, the polls are open, three or seven in the morning till eight at night if you want to vote personally. If you don't want to trust the mail with this ballot, we will have, and it's on our website, five places where we will have drop boxes that you may take this ballot and put into a drop box. We have one in every area of the county that we elect a district commissioner from. So, those places and times and addresses are on our website. 
and have been published by The Morning Call. I hope this information is valuable. Don't wait to the last minute. Please, we encourage everyone, do it correctly. Make your vote count regardless of who you are voting for. We are very pleased with the way we have done this. We're sure of the security that goes with it. We're proud of the way we set up our drop boxes. So everything is forget about what you might read of rumors. Everything is safe and secure. And we're just waiting for you to follow those tour instructions and vote correctly. Thank you.